Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Mulek Science's channel, Planting the Future of Food. And joining to discuss this, we have the pleasure of Amit, the Chief Science Officer, joining us. First and foremost, welcome, sir. Thank you very much for having me. It's such a pleasure to get you on. So I want to dive into this. In a nutshell, uh, what is molecular farming and kind of what's going on under the hood there at Mulek? Uh, molecular farming is a methodology where we express animal proteins in plants and specifically in different parts of the plant. And what we are focusing on is really producing those in seeds because seeds can be stored long-term and we can really express very high amounts of the desired protein in the seed. Yeah, appreciate the insight. And is Mulek the first company in history to achieve regulatory clearance for this kind of transgenic peas? Yes, definitely for peas. We are, you know, to the best of my knowledge, we are the first ones to really get the regulatory approval for peas. And that's a big historic uh, aspect in itself, but a big milestone for Mulek. And why is this kind of relevant for biotechnology in the ecosystem? So if you think about it, biotechnology has been dominated by soybean, which is a protein-rich product. And obviously, it has oil fraction as well. But if you think about pea, pea is also a traditional protein-providing crop all around the world. It's grown everywhere. And so it's a very important aspect for us that now we can really reach the masses with this enhanced uh, properties of nutrition in pea as well. Now, what other platforms has Mulek achieved clearance for and kind of growing these crops in the United States? Uh, the first one was safflower uh, uh, for our gamma linoleic acid, which is the what we call as glasso. It's a nutritional oil. And then secondly was the, uh, we got soybean, where we have the same protein expressed, myoglobin protein expressed in soy. And that we were able to express at such high level that the soybeans turned pink. So we call it piggy soy because the protein is originally from uh, uh, from the pigs. And it's really uh, accumulating a lot of iron in there as well. And that's why it turned pink. And now the same protein is being expressed also in peas. Now, why is Mulek modifying soybeans and peas with meat proteins? Well, so if you look at your burgers, patties, there's a lot of uh, protein, plant-based protein added to that to bring more you know, volume in there. Now the consumer can really get nutritionally enhanced pea and soy uh, protein in their actual meat as well. So it, it really brings more nutrition and enhances the nutritional value as well as the flavor part. That's very important because if you look at the alternate protein market, they were utilizing plant-based proteins and utilizing a lot of chemicals to modify it. We don't need to do that anymore. We can actually have the meat protein in the plant protein itself. And that can be, uh, that really is very sustainable. Yeah. Do you want to give a little insight into the sector, the market? I mean, what will be the main use of your product? So it, it'll be primarily an ingredient. So soybean is utilized for texturized vegetable protein, for example. It is utilized as a filler in a lot of the processed meat market. So this will actually replace uh, that part or add to that fraction. Nice. And finally here, if there's one thing investors should focus on, if there's one thing you guys are paying attention to right now in the latter half of the year, what should we be uh, looking for? We're just looking on for moving on to further approvals to get it to closer to market. Soybean and pea, that's the primary focus because once we get to the market, that's the important part. I right? yeah, definitely appreciate all this and we'll pass it off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section. Consider subscribing as news and catalysts come down the wire for Molek. We're going to bring it to you here. But on that note, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.